Hello, everybody. My name is Rob Shapiro. I just wanted to welcome you to the cervical and thoracic spine course. Very excited to have you. This is the, the virtual component of the class. Let's talk a little bit about me. So I've been a physical therapist for the last 31 years, mostly outpatient orthopedics. A little bit, my first job was more of an chronic pain program, which is a four-week inpatient program, which kind of helped me um, for the rest of my career because it's very biopsychosocial. And that's at the time before we talked about the words biopsychosocial, but it was more into the understanding the cognitive side of pain and how to manage it. Tons of influences in my career, anywhere from muscle energy to Jeff the late Jeff Ellis, Howard Mikowski, who probably 35 years ago went to Michigan State, took all the muscle energy courses and brought it to us in Long Island at Toro College. Then Maitland courses, I did my a mentorship out of Kaiser. Then I did the OzPT, which is a Maitland Australia approach. Got my certification through that group. Then went begun recently through all the McKinsey, well, A through C, McKinsey courses. And a couple of other influences, there's a gentleman named uh, John Imes who developed the primal reflex release technique, which is a kind of a cool technique, which is another way to kind of get into the system. And we'll talk more about John's work. And the other two is neurokinetic therapy by David Weinstock and neuromuscular reprogramming by Jacqueline Olvier. Um, the two of them came up and Jacqueline started about 40 some odd years ago. She's an interesting, she's a massage therapist, body worker. Came up with the idea um, of using the muscle testing. It's usually a applied kinesiology type of background, but using it towards muscle testing and more motor control. David worked for Jacqueline and took on the work and has developed a national, international following through neurokinetic therapy and Jacqueline through neuromuscular reprogram. So those have been a big influence. There's tons of people and tons of things throughout my career. So what, am, what is my thought process? So my philosophy and what we're gonna to try to do in this course is don't get married to one technique and, and rely hugely on clinical reasoning to guide your approach. So I say with that, so when I would take a course, I would take a muscle energy course and come back and everybody had a, you know, muscle energy people left on right to take a torsion. Everybody had a FRS, ERS, all those words. Or if I came back from a, the primal release course we talked about, everybody had reflex issues. Where you have a stabilization course, everybody has a stabilization issue. So don't just get married, but help that. Use clinical reasoning to guide your way through that. And then the important part is don't just throw things at patients and hope they stick. Be systematic in your approach. I've seen people who do, oh, here's my low back patient. Here are my five exercises we do. Or cervical patients, everybody does retractions, heat ice, stem massage, and go on the bike. You don't want to do that. You want to be systematic, help put them in categories. My goal for the course is to start to introduce you to more of that concept. And then test, retest. It's always every student I've ever had in my own world. And I do it all the time. I forget. And you want to know if what you did, you know, if you do a, you do your pre-test, cervical range of motion is 60 degrees without pain. And then you do a technique and it's 60 degrees and still the pain. Maybe I didn't change so much. But what if I did X, another technique in it, now it's 70 with pain at the end range. I know I made a difference. So basically what you're doing is you're kind of doing a little bit of a, a research project every time you see the patient, same, better, or worse. It's the questions I ask them all the time. How are you feeling? Same, better, or worse. And remind yourself that they define same, better, or worse. How is it better? Or how is it worse? They might say, well, I'm a lot worse. A lot worse than what? A lot worse than the beginning, but I'm better overall. That type of thing. So you want to question that person appropriately. And that's huge. So what are we going to do for the pre-course? This is kind of stuff we used to do in the live course. It took the first hour, hour and a half. Good information, but I think it gives you the ability now to, to kind of take the information, the pre-stuff, kind of get digest a little bit see what we're all about, see what the techniques are. You don't have to worry about the other stuff to sit, listen to me live for an hour and a half. You could get up, you know, you could take me on a, a walk on your, on your phone and listen to me. You could do it anytime you can do it on your bike, et cetera. Right. So you could take little bites as opposed to big things. So the purpose of this class so far introduced you to the class and what to expect when we meet live, provide some functional anatomy and biomechanics, review of the cervical and thoracic spine. Again, I'm not gonna try to give you too much, enough that you could use for the class that makes a difference. And discuss and review the evaluation process of the cervical and thoracic spine. And when we're done with that, you wanna be able to provide a classification for these patients. Again, we're gonna, we're kind of um, starting on the journey and we're gonna be able to get into a little bit. It's not a McKinsey course, a Maitland course, it's a kind of combine my 31 years of experience in kind of putting stuff together.
you know, as much as we can, obviously in one day, we can't hit everything, but we will try. And then provide an overview of what we call the system or the hierarchy of you know, rehabilitation hierarchy for the cervical patient. Again, how do we treat the patient? Where do we start? How do we progress to get them back to function? So we get live, what are we gonna do? So we're gonna do the video-based learning you're gonna have done prior to the class. So you already have mostly listened to everything. And during the live class, my goal is to provide you with a skills required to manage a patient with cervical and thoracic presentations. Not all of them. We're gonna actually skip headaches because there's a whole section of just headaches part of it. We can kind of just go on the surface of that. But again, it can be a whole, everything we're doing in this class could be a class in itself. I'm trying to give you an introduction and hopefully we'll progress with that. Participants will be able to be proficient in palpations, thoracic, cervical and thoracic spine. We kind of find we, we all, uh, we kind of learn it in PT school or, you know, we get out there and we must we palpate. But we need to master that a little bit better. I think if we don't, as a group, if we don't palpate well, do muscle testing well, then who will ever do it? Then we do it. Spring testing, we kind of describe spring testing and mobility testing. Then we'll start doing some muscle testing of thoracic, of the cervical spine. You become somewhat proficient in the muscle testing. Again, it's a light, it's a work, it's courses in itself. And then we want to manage, be able to manage your patients in a systematic fashion. All right, so that's the introduction to the live class and also the virtual class. Next, we're going to go to clinical anatomy and biomechanics.